Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. It was a secret many National Guard troops had to keep during Vietnam, the presence of U.S. nuclear weapons in South Korea. A KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer spoke with one veteran who knew all about them in this week's Veteran Salute. Larry Nelson joined the Kansas Air National Guard in 1965. With the Vietnam War raging, he waited anxiously for the moment his unit would get called to active duty. And that moment wouldn't come until January 1968, a week before the Tet Offensive, with the capture of a U.S. spy ship. The next day, they decided to activate guard units. For Airman Larry Nelson, the capture of the USS Pueblo by North Korea would change his life forever. They were ill-equipped as far as their... They were out there by themselves. Uh, a few of the officers had pistols. The powers to be were thinking, okay, we gotta send some units over there to show some strength and commitment to South Korea. Five months after the ship's capture, Nelson was deployed to Kunsan Air Base in South Korea, nearly 110 miles south of Seoul. When we were trans uh, transferred to, to South Korea, it was primarily the Kansas Air National Guard and the Ohio National Guard. Their mission, equipping tactical fighters. As a security policeman, um, we had, there were two of us assigned to every flight of all of our equipment. Uh, and you know, M16s and the whole nine yards, and you, you first thing you know, you say, well, what in the world am I, what are we getting into? One of Nelson's biggest responsibilities, escorting the arming and disarming of atomic bombs, a task Nelson's superiors warned his unit not to write home about. We had to escort uh, any weapon that was going to be on a plane, and then once it was taken off, we had to es uh, escort it back for storage. Six jets on standby, 24 hours a day, each loaded with an atomic bomb. And they were set right at the end of the runway, so if they went on alert and went to fly, they were right on the end of one runway and go. Although the nuclear weapons were never used, the show of strength paid off. Six months after the deployment of Nelson's unit, the 82 USS Pueblo prisoners were set free. We got the soldiers back, but we didn't get the ship back. The Pueblo incident falling amid the turning point of Vietnam. This was a thing that came up in the middle of all that, and they needed us. Nelson would spend another six months in South Korea before returning to McConnell Air Force Base. He would go on to spend five years total with the Kansas Air National Guard before transferring to an inactive reserve unit for one year. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Larry Nelson. Mr. Nelson served as a staff sergeant in the Kansas Air National Guard. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And I hope everyone remembers all of our veterans. And thanks to the Honor Flight people. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.